Okay, Brian. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, on on your findings, it could have been like a like a resource uh, compatibility thing. Uh, you would think that you know, kind of overdoing it a bit. You know, like with an i7, you know, core and uh, other related information. Sorry, I had to put in a WWB phrase there, but uh, the, the things would kind of work a little better on the conservative side. So that's neat that you found, uh, you actually found a, what appears to be a pretty big solution to a lot of problems. Maybe you could uh, make sure a lot of other people are aware of that and because it's a little bit counterintuitive just on the surface, like you wouldn't think so. You know, the gaming stuff, boy, you know, it's like huge bandwidth, you know, and huge performance to get these graphics going and things like that. But uh, maybe there was a bottleneck somewhere else in the system that was not necessarily the best thing for the application. That's sometimes hard to determine is, well, what is best for what application? So that's kind of neat. I don't know how long it took you to, it, it may, if you had this other one just laying around or if you had to go out and buy it, but uh, I'm glad you've made some progress on that front. So sounds like a plan. Um, and uh, yes, Skip, I kept thinking you were in Maine. I, 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 I guess you are in Massachusetts, but I, oh, you know, I'm thinking of Paul. That's who I'm thinking of, uh, uh, into NQM, uh, Paul. Um, but uh, he, he's up there in Booth Bay Harbor, Maine. That's right. Okay. You guys kind of have kind of a similar sound, if you will. But, uh, boy, I haven't heard Paul in <laughs> over 10 years. Uh, so it's been, uh, been quite a while. Uh, yeah, propagation is pretty poor, but uh, this is kind of expected for uh, the conditions kind of going down to cycle 24. Four, I think we're in or five, um, but uh, I guess uh, predictions are till 2021 it'll come back. Things will come back pretty good. But I made a 10 meter contact last weekend, so occasionally there are these little openings, and you can still uh, still do some some 10 meter work. So I just got a QSL card in the mail. It was a station out in uh, Kentucky there, so. Anyway, uh, that's uh, that's the situation, and uh, waiting uh, waiting till uh, about this time next month for amplifier and tuner delivery. Supposedly, now we all have our fingers crossed, but uh, that was the expected time, which I kind of need to know because I, I'm going to take two weeks off. I'm going to take some vacation, and just because I need to take vacation, but also it'd be a good time to take vacation, and I can play with it and make videos and share the project and uh, and uh, let you guys see it so that's uh, that's what's coming up uh, back to you skip wt1 h and wa0 vy k 0 k a for Collins Colorado okay wb9 station I'll get it over to you um, anyway okay Tyler Okay, on the, the amplifier, I, I think that's the project you were talking about um, on your website, I believe. I'm sorry. Maybe I've, I've got this all wrong, but anyway. And conditions between you and I, um, Tyler, are just marginal. And it shouldn't be that way. I mean, I'm beaming right at you. I've got a uh, stepper three element that I'm very proud of that does a tremendous job but uh, you know you just can't fool mother nature that's for sure so it's just conditions I'm sure uh, okay Brent on the computer yeah Haswell yeah beautiful chip got the latest motherboard and uh, a brand new build so dust shouldn't be a problem things of that nature uh, Windows 10 is Still a mystery to me. I'm still on Windows 7. I refuse to go to Windows 10. Uh, Windows 10, you know, it's it was pushed out on everybody by Microsoft, 
and uh, it's basically what it wants to do is keep track of all your your shopping habits and things of that nature. So it's very intrusive. Uh, so if you're running Windows 10, I I don't know what may, may be getting in the way. Uh, maybe if you're running, I heard this, if you're running Windows 10 Professional, you can decide on the upgrade you want. It won't be automatic updates, things of that nature, which is always very important as to what you're getting on your computer. Um, you know, go into, uh, go into your MS config on startup and see what services are starting. Um, there could be a whole bunch of services starting. Um, I mean, there's so many different ask, there's so many different roads to go down. I mean, that NVIDIA card should be, that should be a champion on that board, but, uh, that should not be a problem. Yeah, maybe the drivers, maybe the download was corrupted, but, uh, I mean, so you, you know, re-download it and try it again. Maybe go to a different version. Who knows? But, you know, you just never know. Even the CAD could be junk. So I just never heard of that, a NVIDIA CAD being outshined by an AMD CAD. Man, oh, man. But uh, like I say, I know nothing about Windows 10. I've resisted. I've resisted all attempts for them to automatically download it to my computer. And I've gone so far as to uh, get programs in here to take it the hell off my computer, all the NAG uh, reminders uh, to uh, download Windows 10 and all that BS. So anyway, uh, I wish you the best of luck. I don't have any problems uh, here. I'm running a Sandy uh, bridge. I'm a, I'm a few generations back. Um, I-7, and it's their uh, six-core Sandy, and uh, I'm running a memory at 2,400 megahertz, and uh, it uh, it's a it's very fast SSDs and. Uh, but I've, I've gone in and I've trimmed back services. I've shut off all kinds of, uh, you know, Windows this, Windows that. Um, I, I keep the firewall, but I've, I've shut down all the other uh, defensive mechanisms because they're all resource hogs. Um, one good one that you might want to get is, uh, uh, let me see, let me get up, uh, let me get my desktop up here. And it's a, uh, let's see, it's called Process Explorer. It's a free program. Go out and get Process Explorer. And uh, that may give you an idea of what's going on. You put that on while you're running your program. And... Uh, it's it's a pretty good program on to tell you where your resources are going while you have your computer running. Um, but anyway, other than that, you know, uh, I'm not claiming to be any sort of an expert on this whatsoever. It's uh, all all systems are different, and uh, that's a fact. Even if it's all the same components, there's always going to be a difference. So anyway. Uh, I don't know if you heard the uh, nine station there, Brent, but let me pick up the nine station. Uh, go ahead, Whiskey Tango, one hotel, over. <laughs> 